hello guys so today we are going to um, learn something interesting yeah interesting to me of course so how to use from spreadsheet block that is in matlab simulink how to use it and what is it and how to use excel data <clears throat> by using this from spreadsheet as input signal to simulink model okay suppose you have any uh, simulink matlab simulink model and you have some excel data <clears throat> and you want to use those uh, excel data as one single input or you have uh, two column of uh, <clears throat> data in excel suppose look i have this data i have downloaded okay so <coughs> suppose you have this kind of the data and you want to use uh, anything uh, suppose uh, a b c d so many signals are here so if you want to use any data as one signal or two data or three data as a time means for one column like for one column it will be one say one signal okay it will be with and for another column datas it will make one different signal and you can use those uh, this data as a single input or as a single <coughs> okay means you can use so many other uh, so many sig signals uh, if you have so many columns of data you can use the uh, this things as so many columns of data suppose look here i have one model here okay pv model so <coughs> e radiance data here Uh, I want to collect some data here because I want to make one uh, deep learning network so I need to collect some data so here from here I can collect only few datas other data uh, I, I can collect like um, 1000 data 10,000 data 1 lakh data from here I can collect but it will be like um, so many datas will be like fixed uh, similar data okay so for that <coughs> I'm going to use this data that I have here. I have downloaded okay for one year 2021 iteration data <coughs> for infall. Okay, so I will use this data as a signal to my MATLAB model and I can get some result nice results yeah of course already my, my uh, this model is working nicely so let's do what for what we came to this video what we'll do we'll use from spreadsheet block and we'll use data excel data as input signal to model okay so i'll just show you demo and you can do it uh, easily i have already added it let me add it once more once again so spreadsheet is it came from spreadsheet okay i will delete the other one let's delete it now what we'll do we'll check signal na so I'll show you that as that signal is coming or not. Okay, so scope. Let's add scope. <coughs> okay, it's connected. So double click on the spreadsheet block and that file name. I have to browse here. I don't need to write. I can browse it directly. So I have data. And uh, try to save it in look so many uh, things are supported here look I can show you I think 
yeah how many what are the data types it will suppose oh, oh i can't show you right now means but uh, there are so many like uh it support you can check it here i think is it written here what are the supported file format supported file format okay leave it for now you can <coughs> save your excel data as x l s x okay excel s l s x you can save it like that <coughs> so data new slx so open and now i have to select the sheet apply your changes before selecting the range wait, wait. I have to <coughs> my first column is not time it's data and sample time I have to give something if first column is not uh, sorry it's not change if the first column is not time then we have to change this sample time 0 0.00, 0. let's make it now i will go to sheet name okay sheet one not found because i have to select it now <laughs> suppose uh, which signal i want uh, suppose i want any signal here yeah, i'll select okay i just i just uh, for now i just need only one if okay i will select this one was it look range automatically came here okay so apply uh, if your first column is like uh, time then you have to uh, keep it as time okay so let's run it for one second now look here all those data came as a signal look this is like really fantastic yeah to me it is like really interesting so <coughs> all the data are came as signal okay so now you can use this signal uh, use this signal as your input to your data uh, model suppose if you can use this in your model here input wherever wherever you need to connect it you just you just can connect it now freely okay i think you get it if you have any problem you can comment i will try to solve your problem of course really and let's try to uh, suppose i need two signal okay two signal from the uh, that from this excel data suppose i need two column as two input signal okay so what i will do let's go again to this uh, let's make it little bigger yeah. look automatically all the name came here what i will do double click on it i have to go sheet name i <coughs> and press control and suppose i need the d1 also okay d and e both <coughs> both the data i need as a signal to my model so i'll select uh, both uh, by pressing control and right click okay now apply look here automatically that other one signal came okay so i just need to add two scope here okay so i'll just run it and let's see the result so it's really interesting look this another one range uh, it's uh, maximum range minimum range. you can check it's it's coming correctly you can check your old data so for today that's it guys I think this video of course if you came to this video if you are watching this video of course it it's 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 so much helpful for you and for that 
subscribe this channel because my video is helping you of course and yeah if your subscription make give me some motivation to make this kind of videos thank you so that's it for today guys